the last city. We have endured many great tragedies thanks to our strength and a steadfast commitment to humanity. The traveler chose us. It abandoned the fallen because they are unfit, unworthy of the light. They would take it from us if they could. The Mangar have lost their way. They embrace the darkness. Welcome, Aramis's followers, into our midst with open arms. Force us to celebrate our lost heroes alongside those who murdered them. Yes, the endless night is over. But now, Mithrax and his house will use this opportunity to do what the fallen have always done. Covet. Cheat. Steal. Kill. I have seen the future with my own eyes. And it has not changed. Doom is still builds on our horizon like a terrible storm. But there is hope. Right now, loyalists to the future war calls a new monarchy have rounded up the fallen in our city with the aid of Osiris. I have learned how to safely command the power of the Vex. I will use it to do what the Vanguard will not. I will tear open a rift, banish the fallen to the depths of space from where they came. We alone will save humanity. I have seen the darkest of futures. And with this act, I will Lakshmi 2 has opened a Vex portal in the Elixni Quarter. All fire teams, find and close that incursion point. Midrax, what's your status? We are overrun. Please, we cannot hold them off for much longer. Do not worry, Midrax. I am on my way. Go. You must protect your people. You are my people. Osiris, what's your position? Osiris? He was right behind me. I have lost him! Osiris, respond! The splice is complete. Enter quickly. Guardian, there are too many Vex. We need that portal closed. I call us of Allah, any guardian who can hear us will need the aid. Is anyone near our position? We are alone. as if this is our last. This is like a ray broadcasting on all open channels. Can anyone hear me? Midrax? Saint? What's your status? Can anyone read me? Got 
guardian. The city remains. We have wrestled another day from those who would take it. But not without loss. And not alone. Elixir, Mithrax. They stood with us, brothers and sisters in battle. This is a bond that cannot break. Their lost will be buried beside our own. Ikora was wise to look to our future instead of the past. We must remember that it is the Elixni who came to us, laid down arms for a chance at peace. These are not the fiends Lakshmi made them out to be. That bravery demands respect and deserves recognition. The House of Light is part of the city now, under the protection of Saint-14. In time, the memories of our past demons will fade, and our peoples will share laughter and stories. Our victory today will be one of them. More famous than Twilight Gab, I will make sure of it. Look at the city. The skies are slowly clearing, but the streets are filled with dead Vex, dead Elixni, and our people. Future war cult has scattered to the wind, but we recovered Lakshmi's body from the site of the attack. In the end, she was right about the tragedy looming on our horizon. If only she could have foreseen that it was of her own making. Now Dead Orbit has finally made good on its promise to lead the city, and take a new monarchy with it. The factions are no more. Honestly, I will miss their presence here. After all, Lakshmi did not speak for the future war cult. Some of her own people warned me she was becoming unstable, and I feel I let her slip away. I haven't told Saint yet, but I've been unable to locate Osiris. Even though Lakshmi implicated him in the attack, I don't believe he did. Osiris is a good man. Saint and I will both vouch for him. All he has to do is return to the city to clear his name. I saw the blight that was forming in our own citizens, but I never thought it would lead us here. Eris once said, we will only know our enemy's next move if we are wise enough to recognize it. My eyes are wide open now. Stay ready. Hello. So, this was quite the interesting series of events today. Um, I don't normally do this at the end of one of these videos, but I just feel the need to give my thoughts on the things that happened. So, first off, Osiris is very sus. Um, he was very sus the whole season, but he's even more sus now. The fact that he helped the Lakshmi bring the Vex into the city, which he would not do because he's Osiris and he hates the Vex. But and the lived in the infinite force. Anyway, whatever. I think Osiris isn't quite all there. Either that or he of Sabathun has taken Osiris' place for some reason. We'll find out very soon, I'm assuming. But that's strange. Osiris is very sus. Secondly, Lakshmi completely lost the plot and just apparently doesn't even have just decided to launch an attack on the fallen in the city with Vex. I don't know why she thought that was a good idea, but she's dead now. Um, so that was interesting. Also, it seems as though 
House of Light is all happy now, so that's good. Um, so they're there, there to stay, which is quite nice. And I think that's about what we're going to see from this season. There's also a friendly harpy in the mission, which is interesting. Which isn't unheard of, because there are friendly harpies around, like on Europa, and there was one on Nessus as well in an adventure. But it would seem as though this one is Asher from Io. And the reason why I say this is because apparently the wee noise you can hear make is apparently Morse code. And if you listen to the whole thing and decode it, it turns into assistant. And Asher always called the guardian assistant. Therefore, it's probably Asher that we set up the, the harpies that actually kind of looks like Asher's set up now as well. So, yeah. That's interesting. So, Asher's back in the form of a harpy, which is strange. But, that's about it. So, overall, it's a very. I, I thought this was a very good season. It was a very well handled. I think the storytelling this season is the best so far out of any of the seasons. It was very well put together. The weekly missions were very cool. The way they paced the story was very nice. Unfortunately, there was a gap during Sources of Heroes and the week after of there being nothing. However, I feel like that makes sense if there's an event and, you know, they're not going to really give a story going for that long. Plus, this season may have been, like, elongated a wee bit because they're delaying, which is you know, the next expansion, which is fair. So, all in all, I think this season was the best for storytelling so far. I'm very excited to see what the next season is like, and I'm assuming this is the end of this season, but there's not going to be anything else. There is really only one more week that they can do something. I also assume there's not going to be an event, but if there is an event, I won't even be able to cover it because I'm not going to be at my computer in order to cover it. So that would be a bit sad if there is an event, but I still watch it on YouTube, so that's fair. I just won't be able to upload it to my channel, which is a bit of an oof, but hey -ho. But overall, I'm looking forward to next season. This season was amazing. I loved it. And yeah, that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this wee series of events, my ramble at the end. And yeah, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.